but my passion for creating content for Genshin is changing. I'm not planning to stop creating content for Genshin. Me neither. And I'm definitely not quitting after all the time invested. Heck but not. you may have Game's noticed too good. that the amount of Genshin content that I release is slowed down drastically since the game launched. It is the same. It isn't burnout or lack of things to talk about. It's closer to the fact that the leaks are just ruining the excitement for me. That factor of surprise is fading because I'm being spoiled by people who think they are helping other people out by releasing all of the content in the game an entire month or so before any of it is even announced. And the worst part is, I'm not even allowed to talk about any of that content for an entire month till Mahoyo officially releases information, and then I can only talk about the content that was released when possibly the entire patch was leaked a month or so ahead of time. Mm. While I that's the biggest thing is not being able to talk about it and then at the same time also having to be the guy that has to shut down any hype or discussion about it in his own discord or in his youtube live chat or if you're a twitch streamer twitch twitch streamer it, it, it's so hard when you're a streamer and one of your like like a viewer that you actually really enjoy having being a part of the community comes up to you and wants to geek out about the new content that just dropped but you have to shut down the conversation because you're not allowed to discuss it and you're and you're told to not have it be discussed right it, it it's tough and at the same time on top of that it's like for the people that say like oh like we need the leaks so that we know when the characters are coming out so we can save our primo gems that's a completely valid argument but for that we should be having roadmaps for new characters coming out right that showcases the character's design in the story like they just did with Ayaka and Yorimiya, right? That was the first for Mihoyo. They're finally doing it. Um, but at the same time, making it so that leakers don't have access to the developer builds like Chaotic says in his video. So that these crazy leaks ahead of time can stop happening. And another way they can combat this is by giving big content creators, not myself. I mean, if you want to, but that would be awesome. But giving big content creators the ability to discuss like new weapons and new characters and their builds and all that in beta on a live stream or in a video and then just making sure to communicate that this is all in development and none of it is finalized which is what another game by mihoyo does called honkai impact third they do a phenomenal job at allowing their creators to talk about brand new content coming out and to discuss it and get hyped about it with your community and in genshin you're just shackled to not be able to discuss about any of this or even provide like a good criticism video without fear of being booted which is why i held off on making this video for so long and why chaotix held off on making this video for so long i do want to blame this entire thing on the leakers i can't because the genshin team over at mahoyo isn't doing enough to get rid of the leaks i stopped even noticing that some of these videos are getting flagged or taken down some videos are up for weeks and damn people are seeing this stuff for weeks accumulating thousands of thousands of views and what happens is when you stream the brand new character Kazuha, like when I streamed it when, uh, during the dev live stream, everyone already knew who he was and what he did, right? It's like, even if you try not to engage on the leaks, it spreads like wildfire because these videos are allowed to stay on without getting shut down. And the, the biggest, most famous leakers still haven't been shut down, right? And... They, they can continue to leak without too 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 much heavy consequences and at the same time like content creators can't and it, it kills a lot of the hype and the excitement and you have to one kind of go away from showcase videos because characters and weapons and artifacts have already been showcased for months on end because of the leaks and two you have to go away a little bit from theory videos you can kind of make theory content but at the same time now that story content is being leaked and being revealed how much of how much of theories can you really do when you make a theory video and then the next patch was leaked and it possibly shuts down that theory video that you wanted to make right like it it, it kills creativity it makes it so that the viewers that want to find new information on how to save their primo gems have to go to leakers which is not encouraged by the dev of the game that they enjoy and when they find that information and they get excited they can't share it with their favorite community and their favorite streamer that they really enjoy right because most likely the the creator or the streamer has to shut down the conversation or can't partake in the conversation it's both because like it, the content creator program doesn't allow it and and mehoyo doesn't allow it so and you can't avoid it 
that well, especially as a creator, right? Um, or even as someone that just wants to follow the game because you love getting updates from the devs and your favorite creators, right? If you enjoy watching videos from your favorite creators and your favorite devs, there's a good chance you possibly get spoiled because these leakers put it in their thumbnails, they put it in the title, they put it in a Twitter post that gets shared and spread like wildfire and like the, there is no way of avoiding it, right? Telling creators that they can't talk about these leaks or they'll be removed from the content creators program, which I don't think is entirely fair because it gives the people that didn't sign up for this program an advantage on content when really we just want to share how much we love this game. It's, it's not even so much about the views sometimes. It's, it's more so that I just want to talk about this character, but I can't talk about it. And by time I'm allowed to talk about it, it's not hype anymore. It's not, not fun. It's no. not enjoyable because everybody has already known about this character for a month. And it's like they, they, their, their biggest, uh, the biggest thing that they, they pride themselves in is surprise marketing and, and drip marketing. But it's like, you're, you're getting beat on that. So what surprise is there really when chaotic says the best, what surprise is there really when it's all being revealed anyways, right? It's not really a surprise. So why restrict the ability to even discuss or get hyped about this information with your favorite communities or streamers? And why make it hard in the first place to make leakers be able to thrive by not providing a roadmap and not providing a heads up on new content that could possibly come out? You don't have to reveal everything, but one, take the information off of your off of, you know, the ability to be data mined a full patch to four patches ahead of time and make it so that the information that is already out be allowed to be discussed because it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. And it's not even limited to characters. <laughs> Sometimes regions, new artifacts, just for the sake of this argument, the entire patch gets leaked. Mm -hmm. Everything that's coming in the patch gets leaked mm -hmm. way ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So now what am I supposed to create content on? I can be creative and talk about theories and and stuff that might happen in the lore but sometimes i just want to talk about the new character or the new weapon um how cool specific designs in an area are i can't you should be allowing and making it so that don't be so secretive with the information be open about it you know uh honkai does this with a fun like to a phenomenal degree by allowing content creators, I was an invited content creator to be able to showcase the upcoming Honkai Impact X Genshin Impact collab by showcasing Kaching and Fischl being inside of Honkai Impact 3rd and then just making sure to communicate with everyone that this is not a final build and everything is still in development. Like it's been done and it's been done to a successful degree without any bad repercussions happening, right? What's happening is by not allowing discussion to be allowed by content creators and only allowing these leakers to be able to do it is you're having misinformation being spread such as oh this was delayed when in actuality it wasn't it was never finalized or publicized but because your content creators can't talk about it we can't communicate with the community to let them know like hey it was never delayed because it never got confirmed by mehoyo it was in its development phases right everything is in testing everything's up for you know a possible date or 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 who knows when until Mehoyo finally confirms this is when it's going to release. But with creators not being able to talk about this and to be able to counter some of the misinformation and be able to cover some of the new information being revealed, you're, you encourage misinformation to continue to be misspread in any way that allows leakers to get more clicks and more views, right? I'm seeing channels with 50 subscribers that are just created with 100k views talking about all the new characters, artifacts, regions with footage and images to show proof that they know what they're talking about and, and it's not about the views it's about the fact that it's being spread so far the fact that you can be a 50 subscriber youtube channel and get these huge amount of views right or any channel get a huge amount of views with these leaks it goes to show that a lot of the community is actually seeing and witnessing all of these leaks so to ugh, man and I'm forced to remain silent or face a DMCA. Correct. I've even pitched ideas to improve this situation to Mahoyo and make it better for the content creators, but it feels like 
every idea that I've pitched and provided has been dismissed. Mm -hmm. And the content creator program is only getting bigger, making me just another number mm -hmm. since I don't pull tech tone numbers in the space. This video has been long overdue, but I've been putting it off out of fear that I'd be Techie, I actually like uh, your content, and um, I just want to say you've done a phenomenal job of being able to provide solutions uh, for a lot, variety of topics, and you actually garner a lot of attention, so uh, I part of me doubts it, but at the same time, it would be really cool if you could, you know, shed some light on this thing that's, that's going on, because as small creators don't really have the ability to be able to communicate uh, an issue as big as this. You know, some of the biggest creators came forward. Uh, Asian guy plays Genshin, Teki. So, so many people discussed about the two-factor authentication respectfully and came up with really good solutions that we were able to get two-factor authentication in with a good solution for the most part. Um, it took some time, but it happened. And to the point where Mahalo even had to come forward to talk about it. But right now with no content creators talking about this because they might get in trouble, it makes it so that this can just stay under the rug and never be addressed, which is a bad, bad way to have any community and any culture set up for any type of game. Honkai team treats us so well and makes it very easy for us to talk about and share any new content that they have planned. Yeah. I don't understand why this is so hard for the Genshin team to do as well. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make this into a video and kind of share some of my thoughts and the the position as content creators are in for for not being able to discuss about any of this and um end of the day like we just we just want to be able to enjoy the games with our our viewers and in our community i've been making content on youtube to uh almost no viewers for a super super long time i've only recently just gotten viewers i do this out of passion i do this out of love if i did this for the views i would have quit after my first like 15 months of trying to make youtube videos like I, I genuinely have fun covering content on this game like it's an absolute blast but it's like you know it's tough we we can't discuss about half of the stuff that's going around i want to talk to you guys and ask you guys you know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the in the comments below and and to ask you guys to be able to not share this video but just share the sentiment that this should be a topic that we should be discussing as a community so that we can fix this problem or so that this problem can finally be addressed properly with some solutions that have already been provided by content creators and have been tried and tested by other game dev teams like Honkai's dev team, which by the way is under the Mihoyo umbrella. It, you know, it's like, it's tough. You just want to be able to talk and enjoy the game the same way that the majority of the community can without, you know, risk of getting in, of being in trouble. And there's a good chance I won't be a part of the consecrated program after this, but uh, I hope I can. But I also understand if I cannot. And I just want to say that um, uh, us gamers in general, not me or creators, gamers, I think it's, I don't know, for me, the best part about being a YouTuber and being a viewer both because i am both is being able to talk about like the new stuff with your friends and your favorite streamer and your favorite youtuber and your favorite you know youtube community but when your creators can't talk about it and they end up having to shut down the conversation a few times in the discord and in the chat it can be it can be frustrating and it can be tough let me know what you guys think i'll probably make a part two video that's a lot more organized um um, at the end of the day, though, let's stay classy. Let's stay respectful. Mehoyo has made a beautiful game. I've even made a thank you Mehoyo video because I love this game. And I love Honkai and I love Genshin Impact. Um, and and y'all know how much I defend and praise Mehoyo, but... Uh, yeah. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, seriously, appreciate it.